students welcome to the next lecture of the chapter herbs as raw material from the subject herbal drug technology i'm dr kumar madan associate professor lloyd institute of management and technology and today i shall deal with biodynamic agriculture biodynamic farming or biodynamic agriculture basically means biological dynamics it means when all the components or the parts of the agricultural they are considered as biological system we consider soil as a living system to whom we nurture in a natural way this concept of organic farming has been introduced in the year 1920s by radolf steiner it is basically method of organic farming which considers farm as a living system where activities affect each other the activity of the soil affect the growth of the insects over there the activity of the insects affect the fertility of the soil so it is a complex mixture where all the components they are playing their role to make this living system happy principle of biodynamic farming biodynamic farming is based on certain principles we shall discuss these principles basically the first and important is that it considers soil as a living system soil which is going to provide as the various components it is a living system as per this principle it considers plant as a living entity which is composed of mineral elements such as nitrogen potassium phosphorus calcium manganese it also consists of the organic matter which consists of proteins carbohydrates cellulose and starch the basic aim of this biodynamic farming is to restore the fertility condition of the soil the soil should remain fertile and it should give the productivity to its maximum so it basically aims to restore the human status of the soil ecosystem to hold its fertility as well as productivity biodynamic farming also helps to restore the balance functions of the flora and fauna which exist in the soil it considers the skillful use of organic matter as effective for the soil life for the existence of the soil to provide fertility for enhanced productivity of the crop it also give importance to the enzymes and the growth substrates present in the soil its priority is the crop rotation the same crop should not be grown again and again to deplete of the same nutrients of the soil enhance there should be crop rotation where the leguminous plants are grown so that the balance of the mineral content of the soil is maintained it is giving the importance to the soil structure which includes bulk density pore space and water holding capacity there are certain rules for biodynamic farming before we go for that we need to be accustomed or we need to know what is rules now these include number 1 use of biodynamic sprays to stimulate and retain the soil fertility the very basic purpose of doing the biodynamic agriculture is to retain the fertility of the soil in a natural manner without the use of chemical agents or chemical pesticides we do maintain that fertility and humus content of the soil so everything is related to the same directly or indirectly next rule is following the crop rotation to combat pest and the disease the another rule is recycling of the farm waste whatever the farm waste is it is recycled and again it is added to the soil to enhance its fertility it also follows the prevention strategies against pests and disease by strengthening the plant and animals in the farm organic farming organic farming just one of the aspect of the biodynamic agriculture we all have heard this term nowadays it's very no, well known that organic food which comes by the organic farming this is a concept which is at its peak now organic 
it means which is totally composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It does not contain any chemical pesticide, it just contain whatever the product of the flora and the fauna of the soil itself which is again fed to the soil to get the good food which is free from the chemical, which is free from the toxins, which is safe to use. So, that is organic farming. Let us go by the slide now. Organic farming is defined as the production of crop, animal and other products without the use of synthetic chemical fertilizers and pesticides, transgenic species or antibiotics and growth enhancing steroids or other chemicals. It is totally natural. This concept of organic farming was basically came into the system because it wanted to substitute the inorganic fertilizers with the manure and the organic matter. The manure which is received from the excreta of the animals that is fed to the farms as a source of the nutrients and the other organic matter which is a waste of the crop yield of the farm. Secondly, it is based on the concept of use of the biological pest control instead of the chemical pest control. Thirdly, it exclude the use of the growth regulators which has been used synthetically. The hormones, plant hormones which are given for the growth of the plant is not used here, it is prohibited. Third, fourthly, it rely on the crop rotation, crop residues, animal manures, legumes, green manure and biological paste. Organic farming has certain aims to achieve. Basically its purpose is to grow the crop, to grow the fruits and vegetables in a natural manner which is totally safe and natural. And how it does that? By providing the fertility of the soil again in a natural manner without the using of the chemical fertilizers. So, it has certain aims. Number one, to maintain the long term soil fertility. Even after growing repeatedly the crop, there is no depletion of the nutrients because we are replenishing the nutrients of the plant in a biological manner. Either we are doing the crop rotation or we are providing the natural humus and the bio waste which enhances the soil fertility. The another aim is to avoid all forms of pollution caused by agricultural techniques. Many chemicals they are released and they are carried away by the water sources which pollute our environment. Even that is prevented by this method of the organic farming. Its purpose is also to provide food stuff of high nutritional quality and sufficient quantity. And that is why you may not have or might have noticed that the organic food which is available in the market that is comparatively expensive. It reduces the use of fossil energy in agricultural practices because there is no burning of the chemicals for doing such activities. Its another aim is that it is able to maintain the ecological habitat of the different flora and the fauna which exist in the soil. Now, let us have a look on the advantages of the organic farming. Organic farming is having certain advantages. The number one, it is easy to transition, then it has a production boost. Since the fertility of the soil is enhanced, the production of the crop which is grown by the organic or the biodynamic farming, it is at a high space. Then it is a saving technique which prevents the use of the chemicals, which prevents the use of the pollutant to the environment. It is able to provide the soil nourishment. It is also depicting the biodiversity promotion because you are allowing those plants and tiny insects and animals and the bio paste to grow in the soil and to give their output. It is a healthy alternative definitely because there are no chemical pesticides or insecticides they are used. So, they are not deposited on the layer as you can see 
आप जब भी मार्केट से वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स लाते हैं आपने नोटिस किया होगा कि उनके ऊपर एक वाइट लेयर रहती है सो दैट इज़ द रेमनेंट ऑफ द सम ऑफ द एजेंट्स विच आज यूज आइदर एज अ मेच्योरिंग एजेंट और विच आर लेफ्ट ओवर बायो पेस्टिसाइड्स विच आर केमिकल इन नेचर सो यू हैव टू वॉश इट देर इज ऑलवेज इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन कि अच्छे तरीके से सब्जियों को फलों को धोएं और फिर खाएं या फिर फिर उसका प्रयोग करें है ना तो बाय बिकॉज देर इज द लेयर ऑफ द पेस्टिसाइड्स इन द केमिकल एजेंट्स विच आर हार्मफुल टू अस एंड इन कंट्रास्ट टू दिस द प्रोडक्ट विच इज ऑप्टेन बाय द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इट इज अ हेल्दी ऑल्टरनेटिव एंड ऑब्वियसली सिंस इट इज हेल्दी ऑल्टरनेटिव इट इज अ बेटर न्यूट्रिशन चॉइस इट इज फ्री ऑफ पॉइजन बाय द टर्म पॉइजन हियर मीन्स द टॉक्सेंस or the chemical pesticides which are harmful to our body they have enhanced taste because that crop is having its own natural juices so obviously the taste is enhanced they are tastier and they have a longer shelf life so these are the certain advantages of the organic farming and this is the why today's society is switching over to the organic food although it is expensive but yes in the long run it is healthier food now practices of organic farming deals with certain techniques or certain processes which are crop rotation as i told you the similar crop is not grown again and again on the same soil instead leguminous plants they are grown pulses they are grown so that the nitrogen content that can of the soil can be fixed then there is a cover cropping that the plant farms are covered with a green net so that the crops can be prevented green manures again the manure which becomes from the or which comes from the excreta of the animals foremost is use the cow dung obviously the human excreta is prohibited here then animal manures and green manures is specifically the one which is obtained from the bio waste the leftover leaves the dried stems they are recycled to provide this weed management that is taken care of where you have to control the weeds again not with the help of the chemical weed side by with the bio weed side pest management again by the bio pesticide which we shall cover in the next slides and the livestock management so these are the certain practices of the organic farming which makes it comfortable now we can have a look here india has emerged as a key player in the global organic market and moreover it ranks number 1 in the number of organic farmers and ninth in the area under organic farming and we are still growing towards this positive line now there are certain chemical pesticides which are still in practice these chemical pesticides but are of course these are the petroleum products and these are the chemical in nature which are harmful for the human consumption although they are meant for killing the pest in the farms which destroys the crop but since they are retained in the plant itself they are consumed intentionally or intentionally these chemical pesticides have been banned but still they are practiced in use these chemical pesticides include insecticide which is the one which you might have heard that is ddt that is dichlorodiphenyl tetrachloroethene though ddt is banned and no more used now gamexine parathion and melathion the chemical pesticides another category includes the fungicides which contains bodix mixture chlorophenol and antibiotics herbicides include 2,4 dichlorophenoxyacetic acid sulfuric acid similarly there is another category of the rodenticide which is used to kill the rodents and rats and this include warfarin strychnine and the red squill although red squill is of the biologic nature 
but still it comes under this category but it has been modified. Now let us understand the concept of biopesticides. In the previous slides, we have studied about the chemical pesticides which have been banned to some extent but still they are in use. They are not desirable for the human consumption and they are toxic and harmful to us. In lieu of that, biopesticides are being used today and this is also a part of the biodynamic agriculture. Biopesticides are of the natural origin, they are not toxic, they are not harmful. Biopesticides are the formulations made from the naturally occurring substances that control the paste by non-toxic mechanism and in an eco-friendly manner. They can be obtained from the different organism. They can be obtained from the animals such as nematodes. They can be obtained from the plants themselves, some species and including the chrysanthemum genus and Ezadirecta. Ezadirectica indica is a neem's common name which you are well aware of. Then they can also be obtained from the microorganism such as Bacillus thuringiensis, Trichoderma, Nucleopolyhedrosis virus and they also include other living organisms. These biopesticides are generally less toxic to the user and are non-target organism making them desirable and sustainable tool for disease management. Besides that, they do not also cause any sort of burden to the environment. Now let us have a look on the various advantages biopesticides offer. Biopesticides as discussed in the previous slide, they are less harmful and they do not cause the toxicity or the pollution of the environment and hence they have less environmental load. They are designed to affect only one specific pest or in some cases few target organism. So they are specific in their action to which pest they have to kill. They are often effective in small quantities and often decompose quickly thereby resulting in lower exposures and largely avoiding the pollution problems. So there is no sort of pollution, there is no harmful effect and they are required in a lesser quantity because they are specific in their action. When used as the component of integrated pest management which is abbreviated as IPM program, biopesticides can contribute greatly and hence the use of the biopesticide is promoted on a large scale. There are certain type of biopesticides. As I told you earlier, these biopesticides are obtained from the different organism. They can be obtained from the plant, they can be obtained from the animals, they can be obtained from the microbial flora as well. So we can classify depending upon their sources. Biopesticides can be of three types broadly, microbial biopesticide, biochemical pesticide and plant incorporated biopesticide. The microbial biopesticides includes the biopesticides which has been achieved from the bacteria, virus, fungus, protozoan that target specific organism. On the other hand, the biochemical pesticides, these are basically obtained by genetical modification of the plant that produce the insecticidal protein. So their genetic manipulation is done to enhance their productivity so that large amount of insecticides can be produced by these plants. Then plant incorporated biopesticides, they include the naturally occurring such as insect hormones that interfere with the pest mating and hence they prevent the growth of the further pest. The biopesticides are very useful and hence they are less toxic and less harmful to the environment. Thank you.